Gulf Information Security uh, Expo and Conference. Today is the last day at JISEC. TechX Media is always here to uh, continue uh, broadcasting and doing the interviews with the experts and with the best companies in the world specialized in cybersecurity. And today we have another a new uh, technology category, which is the big data. Uh, we will discuss now in this interview why big data is important in cybersecurity. Therefore, we have an expert from one of the biggest or the most leading companies in the region in cybersecurity and big data. I have with me Tawsif Sayed now. Tawsif, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Shari. Thanks How for having you? me here. I'm good. Good. Uh, Tawsif is the director of uh, Big Data and Data Analytics at Spire Solutions. And I think this is a, a new uh, sister company or, or, or sub-venture. Uh, Spire Solutions, everybody knows it as a cyber security. Yeah. Why Big Data now? Oh, interesting question. So Spy Solution, as you know, predominantly for the last 14 years has been serving customers with cybersecurity solution. And what they have been doing is bringing something as a new niche solution. So not going with the traditional approach. So whenever our architects and even the, the owner used to meet different customers, they used to talk about the new problems arising, especially, especially from not utilizing the data. So there used to be always application generating data, but they were never able to have the strategic inputs to it. So data was becoming key driver for cybersecurity and that's where most of the customers used to ask why don't you guys do something with the data aspect and that gives you spy data so we are here to address data problems not only on cybersecurity side but as well as on the business side amazing so you are complementing the services you are upgrading the services in another way yep. uh, making proper use of the data yep. because yes cybersecurity will result and will generate data yep. so uh, uh, tell me more, uh, uh, what are you adding to it? That's a great question. So again, in data world, generally the problems are like I would say four big problems the way we solve the problem. So one problem is like now the data comes in different forms and in a variety. So we are dealing with unstructured, semi-structured, sometimes the data is coming in out of sensors and then you still have the traditional sources like the OLTP analytical databases. The sourcing of the data is one key aspect where we work with the customers. We try to solve the sourcing problem, getting the unstructured structured data. Again, in data, we have one common language. Garbage in is garbage out. So we also oh. ensure the quality of the data because if you don't have the quality of the data, if you don't have the integrity of the data, you cannot trust the data. So that's one clear aspect we work on. Second aspect is again, as the data has increased in variety, it has also increased in volume. Imagine right now when we are doing an interview, we have millions of texts being flown here to there, millions of photos being sent, millions of Insta and tweets being made. How do we take care and store all this data? And that creates a big problem for the companies because when they want to utilize the data, get value out of the data, they need to store it somehow. But they store it, they need to store it effectively. And that's where we help companies to come up with strategies which have which which allows them to have better storage but also manage it properly. So the second pillar or the second problem which we solve with customers is the storage part of it. The third part is now you have bought the data, you have stored it, but now you want to get the analytics out of it. You want to get the value out of it. That's very important, the analytics. So we know what's going on with the yeah. data. So we don't not only do the traditional analytics, but what we do is we also go with the AI. So we really are one of the few companies in this region who do AI. So we have team of data scientists. Again, we the way we go about our analytics is again, we don't want to redo the cycle, but we use the best of the technologies available. So we have a team of experts, domain experts who do analytics for you. But we also try to bring in something from experience, from the traditional experience. Like let's say when we go to banking, it's not only the technology part which is important, but your core understanding about the finance and banking sector is very important to really get value out of the data. And the fourth part, which on the spy data which we do, uh, is like with data comes with big, big data comes with big responsibility. So you need to be governing and managing the data very well. So we help with our consultancy to govern and manage the data. I mean, definitely, you are a cybersecurity company. Yeah. So you are the best in securing the data. Yeah. Uh, Tausif, uh, how are you uh, uh, trying to address data issues, uh, data issues in security? Tell me more about this. Oh, this is really interesting one. So, as I said, cybersecurity predominantly has been a functional oriented organization. So what happens in cybersecurity is like very simple. They have multiple applications. Overall, like each cybersecurity unit or let's say an organization spends around millions 
to ensure that they are safe they are doing good job in terms of making them optionalize cyber security but what problem happens in cyber security is like they were never able to collaborate so the, they they were working but everything works in silos let's say like the pam works in silos the sim works in silos so if there are so many silos to make them come together or to bring them under one roof we you need to have one centralized data storage yes and that's where spy data comes into so we are not we are bringing in one thing which we call as security data lake so we help cyber security companies to think like business orientation in terms of data and second thing which we are working specifically is like the data privacy part and the data governance part It was always a rivalry between two people the cyber security team of the company and the data team of the company but what we have done now is we have found the common ground where you can ensure the governance over the data let the data management team take care of it but meanwhile the security the compliance the regulation the law can be still catered so we help them to come together in short we have bought a framework which allows them to marry and still manage the privacy and governance for the company together so that's the area where we play around cyber security in terms of data amazing um, any anything you want to say about the jisec uh, this year your participation are people interested in this uh, i mean great combination of big data and cyber security Trust. how do people react to this so dubai has been always leading in terms of technology adoption of new ways to solve problems which are catered in the modern era jisec is always a platform where you get where people are interested to listen from new from us from vendors from you guys is like what is the new thing coming in so this year has been the same we have seen across multiple technologies and new approaches and it has been good so far and we hope that we keep having those kind of jaise year and year again uh, tawseef sayed the director of big data and data analytics from spire solutions thank you for the uh, amazing and very uh, unique uh, content that you provided uh, we will uh, it won't be our uh, last interview with you uh, with spire solutions as well i wish you a uh, very successful contribution in in JISEC this year on our last day uh, this is Shadi Rawi from TechX Media stay tuned for more news and interviews about technology and about JISEC precisely this exclusive coverage for JISEC 2022 and uh, its best way is done only by TechX Media have a great day